This other day I saw a guy coming up with a really bad take and people started making fun of him eventually pointing out that he has pronouns in the bio so like those bad takes are to be expected. And at this point the guy is a little bit bewildered because he's like well it's 2023 doesn't everyone have pronouns in the bio? So at this point I joined the conversation to explain to him that no like what is happening is that you're interacting with other people in your echo chamber and you get the impression that everyone has pronouns in the bio. Meanwhile, we're in this other echo chamber, and it's very rare that we see people with pronouns in the bio. It's kind of like uh, when you look at the blue spot, like you don't really see that many red dots. But it's interesting that uh, on the red spot, you see a lot more blue dots, which goes to show that people in the red are more tolerant to people in the blue than vice versa, although overall the tolerance is uh, almost non-existent for both groups. Uh, the reason for this is block lists right uh the the blue spots especially the liberals like they use actual block lists that they share among each other uh i think like the uh video game developers came up with them first but then uh, it moved over into comics and uh eventually the activists are sharing it so basically the way the block list works is that uh, a marvel comic book pro would start banning people that disagree with his hot takes uh, and uh, after he creates a list of customers that he doesn't want to interact with because he considers them to be his inferiors, he will share that block list with his friends. So, so like, you would go and you would disagree with uh, one Marvel guy, and then you'd notice that all of them blocked you. Right, so when that happens, what do you do? Well, you retreat from this blue area. You retreat back into your echo chamber. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like, people in the red block as well, but I've never heard, personally, I've never heard of right-wingers uh, having block lists, right? Like, like they will uh, manually block people, like, they will individually block people, but I don't think, like, they have, like, an entire list. But, but anyway, right, like, my point is that there are two websites, right? Like, complete different experiences. You have a blue Twitter and a red Twitter. And as much as people claim they don't like echo chambers, the reality is that people enjoy their echo chambers, right? Like, uh, there are individuals who literally do not want to interact with the negativity that's being brought by the opposite side. Um, I mean, the divide is so big that most people uh, do not... Like, they, they don't even speak the common language at this point. Like, like it, it's kind of like getting two people to read a map when no one agrees where North is. Right? Like, like, the divide is so big that most people, like, prefer not to interact. So, if Elon Musk removes the block button and forces people to interact with each other, you're going to have many people who leave the platform because um, a lot of individuals, you know, they want to see their posts and engagement from friends, uh, the, the, not from the takes of the opposite side that they vehemently disagree with. Uh, in other words, what people want is freedom of association, right? Like, I, I notice uh, people who are both on the left and the right nowadays, you know, they talk about free speech, they talk about uh, consequences uh, for one speech and blah, blah, blah. But they don't, never talk about freedom for association. And I think, like, freedom of association is also very important. It's a human right. If you don't want to associate with these people or if these people don't want to associate with these, you shouldn't force them, right? Uh, there are people in the middle. Like, there are people in the middle, not a lot of them, but there are some that do want to associate. And that's fine, right? But, like, I for once... If, if I wouldn't want to, and, and by the way, I think I'm in the middle because I, I, I don't block people for, um, like, having liberal takes. Uh, but, but if I, for one, just, just want to surround myself with like-minded individuals and, you know, because whenever I see a blue person talking stuff, I get annoyed. I should be able to do that, you know? Uh, to me, the block lists were bizarre because they were being shared by people that are in the industry and they were blocking their customers. But if you just like want to be an average dude that you don't care about what people in the red have to say and you don't want to listen to them, you should have that opportunity. Now, what's interesting is that a lot of uh, people are saying, well, Elon can't actually uh, remove the block button because uh, Google and uh, the other uh, play, the, the, the play Store, they uh, <clears throat> uh, tell uh, the, the social media websites that are there to have a block button. <coughs> Twitter already has mute. I mean, they can rename mute to block, right? So, uh, basically, the difference between mute and block is that with mute, you just don't see what the individual is posting. Uh, with block, the individual can't interact with your stuff. 
But there is no definition given by Google and uh, the Play Store to what block is. So technically, mute is a block. I mean, there's many other social media websites where mute is a block. So uh, I, I do think he can do it if he wants to. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a really bad idea. And, and again, like it destroys the concept of freedom of association. There's, a, there's other issues as well. Like, for example, uh, I have seen uh, many people on the left, and I'm pretty sure they are on the right, Two, which go on a Discord and they start organizing in order to flag someone down to, to go through someone's posts and constantly like mass report them and stuff. Uh, the, the way to defend yourself against that is to block them. But if you remove the block, then, well, you're going to have that. You're also going to have a lot of uh, businesses that uh, don't want a specific type of negativity. Uh, like, for example, I'm making a video game, right? And I see someone that's literally not interested in the video game. Like, I know for sure that person is not a customer and he's only there to start trouble. I mean, blocking them is the correct thing to do in that situation. Um, so, like, if you remove the opportunity uh, for blocking, I, I definitely think you're going to risk alienating more and more people off the website. Um, and, you know, it's, it's that thing with the freedom of association. Like, if I literally do not want to associate with some individuals in any way, shape, or form, I should be able to. You know, like, but but I, I don't know. Like, like, some people are suggesting that Elon is doing this because of the advertisers, right? Like, uh, there are people that are blocking advertisers. I don't think that's the issue uh, because obviously like some people can use ad block and it's a lot more effective than just like blocking advertisers. But I think it's about engagement in general. I, I think like the engagement for Twitter is dropping ever since he had the, that uh, lady uh, from the World Economic Forum to become uh, CEO. The engagement has been dropping significantly and he thinks that by removing blocking, you're going to drive up engagement. Right, because again, like Twitter doesn't care about positive or negative engagement. Like if people start screaming at each other again, uh, then he believes that that's going to drive engagement. But the reality is that the reason people block is because they had enough, right? So like there comes a point where you realize that the other person is disingenuous; they're not interested in a conversation, so you just want to like move on. But if you can't move on, if you can't block, well, how many individuals are you going to take before you're just like not going to go on Twitter? Because you're like, well, why, why would I go there? It's, it's a hassle. I'm just going to start arguing with people. It puts me in a bad mood, right? So the, the block was a way to actually still use the platform because you're like, okay, well, I don't want to talk with this guy because it puts me in a bad mood, right? So block. But now you're going to be like, okay, well, you can mute him. But then you see other people interacting with him and he interacts with your takes. And I, I don't think that this is a good solution. But let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.